Marathon. Welcome back to the Mountain Morning Show. We are in the kitchen with Freebirds World Burrito. They have a new location right here in Park City. I'm joined by Jason Raleigh. How are you this morning? Doing well. How are you doing? Oh, nice. He was just telling me how he's going to be leaving a bunch of this food here. So yeah. that's what I'm going <laughs> to stack on. But you're going to show me or share with me how it's done. But first, before we get into how to make, how to make the salsa, give me an overview of what Freebirds is all about. Yeah, basically, Freebirds is um, famous for the burritos. Mm -hmm. um, we also have great items like burrito bowls, uh, quesadillas. Uh, nachos, um, things like that, tacos. But uh, basically, we're f we're famous for the burritos. We um, started off in California, uh, moved to Texas, and now we're franchising out into other parts of the nation. Very good. So yeah. Great. You're going to show me how it's done, though. This is uh, he's revealing some secrets. Yeah, here. some secrets here. <laughs> to share uh, with you guys. We're going to make some corn salsa corn first. Salsa. How do we do that? Uh, first things first. Um, we want to take the whole corn on mm -hmm. the cob, and then we'll roast it on our grill. After it's been all roasted, um, it's a tedious process, er, turning it every 30 seconds until you get a light char on the outside of the corn cob. Mm -hmm. And then we'll just go down and we'll just cut all the kernels off the cob. You're much better at that than I ever have been. Yeah. I try to do that when I had braces when I was like 15. So yeah. I didn't well, when you're stuck. when you're when you're de uh, kerneling, you know, 48 to 50 cobs a day. Uh -huh. Um, get used to you kind of get used to doing <laughs> those things. Get a knack for it, sure. Yeah. All right, and then after you've cut it all off the cob, you want to kind of mix it up so that you're not getting big kernel chunks. Sure. Okay. Um, and then once we've done that, I've already pre-done some, but once we've done that, we want to basically uh, start building our salsa. All right. Um, some of the things that I've already done, um, you want to the each ingredient that we have, we want to dice it up smaller than the corn kernel because mm -hmm. we want the corn to be the star of that's our salsa. That's the standout. That's the base. Right. Okay. But we will we'll add red bell pepper, red onion. All right. We'll have the jalapenos, but we want to do it without the seeds. The seeds mm -hmm. will add a little bit more heat, and we want to kind of make this a zesty but mild salsa. All right. All right. Then we have our cilantro. I love cilantro. cilantro. I put cilantro on everything. You know, cilantro has that really good flavor, yeah. but if you put too much, it can be overpowering. Right. Some people don't like that, but on a burrito, I think it works out really well. I would agree uh, with We that. have fresh squeezed lime juice, some salt, and then we'll do our cayenne pepper. Ooh, okay. All right. Then we'll just do a rough mix with this, make sure that we get all the ingredients incorporated really well. Ooh, I can smell that all together. Doesn't it just smell Ooh, good? Oh yeah, it does. All right, and then you kind of just have like a very colorful fiesta type salsa. And we're done. That was pretty and simple. And this is the corn salsa. The tedious part is chopping all the ingredients and uh -huh. uh, grilling the corn. That's what takes most of the and time. With our TV magic. That was right. already done. So right. we just got to get to it and, and try yeah, this exactly. out. Yeah, exactly. This is right. first the corn salsa. This is the corn salsa. All if right. you want to go ahead and try that, oh, just go ahead and grab a chip. Okay. You don't have to ask twice for that. Right? <laughs> you don't. Mm. Mm. A little zesty oh, but what? mild. Mm-hmm. Right? Awesome. All right, and then we'll What's move that? over to our regular salsa here. Um, you go ahead of me. Okay, I'll go ahead and do that. Um, we're gonna add our garlic. Okay. And then we have our death sauce. Death sauce is... Um, death sauce? Death sauce. What is that? It's basically... Um, Do I want to eat that? <laughs> it's really mild. Um, my <laughs> kids drink it out of the bottle. What? Yeah. <laughs> um, but uh, it's just uh, the sauce that Freebirds puts out. It's our mm -hmm. own sauce that we make. Um, we have it um, for sale in bottles as well. Okay. What I'm adding here is chipotle. All right. It kind of gives it that... Um, that roasted rustic flavor. Right. Um, then we'll go ahead and add the cilantro. All, this? All the cilantro. All this. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then we also have the fresh uh, squeezed lime juice again. We're going to do our tomato puree. Mm -hmm. And then lastly, we're going to add our pico that I've already pre made. Um, that's also a little bit of time consuming. We have to let it marinate for 15 minutes uh -huh. to allow all the juices and everything Ooh. to incorporate into the tomatoes. Yes, uh, all of go this? Yep, go okay. ahead and add Am all I of that. Am spill it on you? Uh, let's okay. hope not. Let's use the spatula. Yeah. <laughs> we don't <laughs> want to get any, down. Yeah, get well, any of that goes. stuff on us. There we go. All right, so we'll go ahead and just um, blend this. We want to blend it roughly so we have kind of a thick, chunky salsa. Mm -hmm. 
And we're not going to turn it on so it just blends it like a pure honey. Because we don't want we don't want to have like tomato soup. Right. Yeah. So about like that. So there's even skill to the blending too. Yeah. Man, good thing you're doing this, not me. <laughs> and there it is. We but have this it. is our, our housemate salsa. Uh -huh. We make this stuff fresh every day. Mm. Um, our openers, they'll go in at 7, 8 o'clock mm. in the morning. They'll start dicing all the tomatoes, start grilling the corn, start getting all the prep work done for this salsa so that we can be open by 10 o'clock. That is really good, Jason. Isn't it? It's really hard for me. Usually when I eat chips and salsa, I'm like, you know, yeah. shoving it in. But I'll, I'll wait for that. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> but no. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, um, the history about ourselves. Um, you know, we started off small. Mm -hmm. We're growing big. We have three restaurants now here in Utah. Our first one was here in Taylorsville. Uh, second one uh, opened up in West Valley about a month after Taylorsville opened. And then now we're doing Park City. Um, we have three more in the future coming up. Sandy, Ooh. Sugar House, and Layton. Oh, nice. Right where I'm at. So, so I'm, yeah, I'm we're to coming that. to a neighborhood near you guys. Ooh, I <laughs> like it. Well, coming up, we're gonna show, he's going to show me how to roll a burrito. How to roll the there burritos. There is skill and talent involved in this. And like I said, it's I've never known how to truly do this. So you're going to help me brush up on my burrito yeah, rolling skills. That's up next.